Hey everyone, hope everyone's having a good Sunday, morning or afternoon. Ah, today we are swathing barley. Uh, it's a really awesome day out today, a little windy, which is not bad. There's my dad in the 2320 John Deere. And he's going really slow, so I have to stop all the time. I'm in the other 2320, which is a 20 has a 21 foot head on it. That one has the 18. Uh, this one actually looks pretty good. I painted it and never use a cheap, cheap ass paint because this one here turned into like a lime green from the sun, so it looks really dumb. So it has to be done. That one had John original John Deere paint, but we ran out. And whatever don't do it don't cut corners anyway there was a uh, I was watching one lonely farmers uh, channel this morning his new video on the wind rower and there was a few people saying uh, commenting about uh, wind rowers and why you would put a grain head on when you can just straight combine uh, we don't particularly uh, this this actually grain could be almost straight combine but you see here there's some greens in there, right? There's well, there's a lot of wild oats in here. The reason for that is this, uh, this land, this whole quarter is underseeded into alfalfa. Alfalfa, and there's some. That's probably Timothy or Brome, one of the two grasses we seeded in here. So it's alfalfa, Timothy, and Brome mix. So really straight cutting is really not an option. well you can but it would uh, it's better to swath it let all the greens dry out there's still a few greens in there uh all the uh, some of the hay was getting really tall already so that that'll dry out it'll we're gonna bale the straw uh yeah like my uh cousin right next door there he's he's gonna straight comment he doesn't really a lot of people spray their crops first ground up to deaden them and then they wait for two weeks, two and a half weeks, three weeks, or whatever, and then uh, straight combine. So we don't do that. We would have to hire a sprayer because you need a high clearance sprayer. Uh, for us, I don't want to wait around. Like it's August uh, 12th right now. That's pretty early. So we'll have this off quite quick and. Uh, all we'll have left is the canola, so, uh, yeah, uh, my camera, right on. uh, yeah, so we don't really do straight cutting, like, I would like to do some, but, yeah, most of it is be swathed, so, yeah, that's how we do it, you know, other people do it that way, we do it this way. Do we spend a little more money? Possibly, maybe, might not, because once you factor in the cost of the sprayer, to spray it, uh, then to, if you don't have one to pay, to pay per acre for spraying, custom spraying, yeah. Not for me at the moment. Maybe later on in the future, not right now. Not with the amount of acres we have, so. Uh, we have about, we have this field, the next one across the road, which is the home corner, that's all barley. And we have one way up on the hill there, about six miles down. So yeah, that's, that's what it is. And this barley should be ready to combine within a week, probably a week, I would say. Uh, there were some people commenting on One Lonely Farmer's uh, channel, uh, the video we had this morning about, uh, why he quit because of the, all the deer he was doing soybeans and corn that's what I have seen him do uh, there's gonna be geese out here that's our problem the geese are gonna start landing in this so we gotta put up uh, a few scarecrows and some propane cannons scare cannons that's the thing good thing about straight combining when it's up in the, the when it's standing like that they don't bother it but when it's cut down and it's like this they land right in the middle and walk to the swath and eat all the eat all the heads you know, just grab it like this and just clean it all up and if you get like flocks of them there'll be like thousand geese it doesn't take long for them to pick it up so yeah that's one of the drawbacks of swathing wind rolling.
But uh, yeah, um, I don't have the 4990 grain header hooked up. It still has the hay header. Uh, I just don't have time for it right now because I still have to bale some hay. So once once I get that hay done, I'll put that on, and we'll have three machines running, and we'll be done in no time. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, leave a few comments and uh, subscribe. Thanks.